Let's see. Are we working? I'm having issues as usual. Hey, it is. What day is it? What day is it? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday already. Oh my goodness. Nope, we're not doing that. Oh, I gotta go. Wait, hang on. Nope, not that. Oh, nope, cancel. Whoa. Oh, Penny's first. How are you, girl? Hang on a minute. I got a lot of stuff open on my phone. I tried to do a, a slideshow for some reason. The OBS ain't working. That's okay. We'll figure it out. It's not a problem. But I gotta, I'm got. i hungry. What is everybody having for lunch? Hey, Walt Money. How are you? How are you? Oh, it did show up. Okay, that's good. I just want to make sure, I make sure I turn my volume down. You know how that goes, guys. You're working? Hey, Treaton, how are you? Okay. I know I wasn't live yesterday, but that's because, I don't know, yesterday was like insane. Like I had a lot of stuff. Hi, none of you. How are you? I, I just, it was like a, it was like a hard day yesterday, you know? I had my first thing of physical therapy. Long time I've had the COVIDs. Oh no, not the COVIDs. Okay, I made myself. Hi, Patty W. You doing work and watching, Tammy? Cool, cool. Made myself some iced tea with all those damn Lipton bags I bought. Can you believe how much, oh. I, I probably should put that on, um, what do you call it? Hang on a minute. I gotta put it on focus. See, I, I'm just like not, I'm not into it today. You know, like I'm not together. Put it on do not disturb. Well, actually I can't do that because if we're ordering food, that ain't gonna work because I need to know when my food is coming, right? For real. Okay, there we go. Hi, Sonia. Vibrate, I know. Oh yeah, that would be good. But you know what, I for, when it's on my, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Hi, Ella. How's everybody doing? So anyway, yesterday was my first physical therapy and I was like, it was fine. Like the physical therapy, the portion of like the physicalness of it was fine. I mean, a couple of things hurt, but that's to be expected and I understood that. It was just the whole thing of going through it all and having to retell the damn story for the millionth time I felt like. That's the part that was like hard. Hi, Kaz, how are you? You have an announcement, Kaz, what is it? Tell us, tell us. You had major technical issues? I'm having technical issues today. For some reason I can't get my um, slideshow to work, which is what I wanted to do, but it wasn't working. So we might just do a little trivia thing without the slideshow. I mean, I'm sitting in here for like 40 minutes, unloading, restarting, doing it. Everything else shows up but the damn slideshow. Good morning, Stuart. So good to see you. How are you? How are you? Hi, Lila. You just got back from a job interview. <gasps> That's exciting, Lila. What was it for? Do you tell? I love to hear news. She reached 200 subs on YouTube. Who did? Who reached 200 subs? Oh, you have 200 subs, Cass. That's amazing. That is a milestone. That is a huge milestone. That is like, like when you get to like 100, you're like, wow, 100 people subbed to my channel. When you get to 200, was I able to travel to PT on my own? No. Um, it's actually located about 25 blocks from where I am at. Hi, Stax. And that is a new TV back there. I'm still working on getting stuff set up on it. Hi, Diana Gonzalez. How are you? So, um, yeah, PT yesterday was good. I did a bunch of different little exercises with him. It actually did help a lot. Um, the foot is stiff. And he explained a lot of reasons why my foot feels the way it does, which makes me feel a lot better about it. But it just lets me know that I really can't be babying it as much as I have been. <sighs> which I'm like, no, I want to baby it. You know, 
Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Anyway. Um, so this morning I did my exercises already. And I already submitted it to them. And tomorrow I go back at like... And you got a new MacBook Pro. Oh, you did? Oh, Sonia, I am jealous. I, I'm looking at, I'm going to have to like save up some cash so I can get a new MacBook because I am a, I'm a tech whore. <laughs> I can't help myself. I love it. But that's what I use. I use a MacBook Pro and I love it. It is so good. At least for me, it is. Yes, definitely. I'm so glad to see you got to 200, Cass. That's amazing. And Tammy, you're on your way. I mean, like, you are, I think, Tammy, aren't you over, like, 500 or something, like, right now? It's something crazy. It's on sale. Oh, it was. Nothing better than a sale. Right, guys? Best Buy. That's where we went and got our TV. Our TV. Now, granted, guys, I don't have, like, the biggest TV, but it's big enough for our place because our place is pretty damn tiny. I mean, it's pretty tiny. Um, and got it set up. It does work. I just installed Alexa. <laughs> guys, this whole Alexa thing, I'm laughing because, Yeah. Thank God I didn't have Joe set that up. That would have been a mess and a nightmare. Plus. So I'd be like, Alexa, turn the radio down. And she turns it down. And then I'll say, Alexa, turn the radio up. She didn't. Alexa, turn up the radio. I think she turned it off. Oh no! Let's try again. Alexa, turn on the radio. I don't know what she's saying. She's got music on in the background. I don't know what Alexa's doing. Did Joe put up the TV? Joe had to put the TV there. What the hell, the premium plan? I don't know. You just got Alexa too. Well, the thing is, is Best Buy, when I bought the TV, they gave me the um, Echo, the Echo Dot. So, turn up, yeah, Alexa says, turn up your own damn radio. <laughs> I know, yesterday was a low day though, so yeah, it was a low day, and today is much better. I got my crutches over here, guys. Y'all give me laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> so get off your arse and turn it I know and you know what the funny thing is I just have to reach around and push the button but I'm telling her to do it Penny oh my dear lord my Alexa heard you and turned on disco right now oh, I love disco disco is fun I can't wait till I can be on my feet and then I can go to the pyramid club and hang out there it would be so fun it's cheap drinks I know she's gonna say get off your damn arse and get it your turn it up yourself for real Alexa be mean oh the Bee Gees are fan Alexa play the Bee Gees I got the Bee Gees playing too Now, the thing I can't figure out, because Joe had to install, he had to put the wires in. And when Joe has to do that, he doesn't know what he's doing. Alexa, what sounds good to you for lunch? Oh, she heard? <laughs> I got to stop saying it because I keep interrupting her. Lunch time for you, too. How you doing? Have a oh, thanks so much, cool. Collecting with Cool. Um, so... I don't know how to make sure that the regular cable is connected to the TV and I don't know how to do that yet. And I can't like stand there and reach around and crawl yet with my foot. So I'm working with it. Okay. We're working with it at the moment. Lawrence loves the Bee Gees staying alive. I do too. She will tell you something. I know she does. I got my crutches in there. Did you ask her questions? Do you love me? Like I do with Sarah. I have not done that yet. 
But I'm gonna I'm gonna do stuff like that when Joe comes on. He doesn't know I've installed the Echo Dot, and um, I'm sure he will be like freaking out on it. No, Aunt Yo, Angie, get it off your ass. I know, I know. She will say that. Um, but the TV was like an Amazon. It's like by Am. It has Amazon everything. An Amazon Fire one. So it has all that stuff on it. Joe is just enamored with it. He's excited. He's very excited about it. But I had to tell you guys. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who showed up on Joe's birthday and during our live stream. He had such a good day. And um, it meant a lot to him. Because usually his birthday, Father's Day, crazy shit happens. And it usually ends up going sideways for him. And he gets so like, I don't want to celebrate my birthday. I don't want to celebrate Father's Day, Mother's Day, or anything like that. And um, we have 11 Echo devices in your house. Listen to me. All you want, just make sure you subscribe and turn on alerts. Okay. <laughs> I just asked Siri, do you love me? And he said, you have my utmost admiration. Oh, you have a guy's British voice, like 007? That's cool. Do you react to Heartbeat by Enrique Iglesias? Oh, Okay. Classy, I don't know if Alexa steals information, but you know what? My information's out there. I mean, I'm on YouTube, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook. I mean, you, we all have smartphones. I'm just like, forget it. You know, what are they going to steal from me? I don't have anything. So, you know. Wolfgang, how are you? Hi, Ange and everyone. Thank you, Stuart, for notifying me. Oh, yay, Stuart. You are a rock star. Samuel Jackson did a set of phrases for Alexa as well. He did. Ooh, Enrique Iglesias was born in a lot of, you know, there's so many celebrities that are born in New York City or from the area. It's wild. I know I've been busy, too. I've been busy. I've been busy keeping Joe, you know, in his birthday stuff. I think about a donut and Amazon is sending me Krispy Kreme ads. It's on a you know what? That's still true. Wicked Penny. I don't know. Like, I, I swear to God, I have stuff turned off on my phone for that. But I will go to the store, say something, or be someplace, and then suddenly, it's like I'm seeing ads for it. Oh, by the way, guys, I wanted to show you these. Now, this is me. You know how we all get stuff, we get ads, right? Hang on a minute. We get ads for a ton, I know, one cent. One cent's here. The Echo Show is a game changer in the kitchen. We can watch shows, look up recipes. I know. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering how it's going to work. It's because you have locations on your phone. I don't. I don't think I have my locations on. I don't. And I said, well, maybe I do because my son and, my, and Joe track me. Like Joe and my son, Josh, we all share our location. And it's not because we're crazy or we're stalkers or I need to know what Joe's doing at all times. It's a safety concern. Like for the reason that we live in New York City, if anything was to go down, like, you know, sideways, I need to know where they are. They need to know where I'm at, you know, or if Josh is someplace and he doesn't actually know where he is, he's had too much to drink, he needs a pickup. I need to know where he's at. Same thing. It goes to Joe. It goes to me. Anything. Did you see singers? No, I have not. Read your last message. Here, let me go back. Heaven forbid, I know. We have that too. Okay. Okay, got to go all the way back to Kaz. Kaz, where are you at? Where are you at, Kaz? Well, holy hell. I know. It would be funny if they told me to get off my and get my own hot dogs. But you know how you guys, you guys have at least 40, 50 of the friends. That's all they... It's a thing. It's a thing. Joe's people, friends of Joe's at work, think it's insane. And I'm like, no, I have no problem with Joe knowing what's on my phone or tracking me or where I'm at. I have not a problem with that. Um, like I said, it's a safety thing. Okay. So you know how you get those ads on Facebook and Instagram? And like the one ad and on YouTube and the one ad I can't stand right now is pair eyewear. Is anybody getting all of those? They're for the glasses that you can put the magnetic frames on. You need to have a tracker on your sister. Yeah, I saw that. 
I saw that. Thank you. Um, so, can you please react YouTube like right now? No, I'm not going to do one right now. Sorry, Natty. Um, the only one I won't allow is the IRS because they'd be, oh, forget the IRS. Um, okay, so you know, you know, like you have the pair eyewear, right? You're getting them too. It's making me insane. And I wish it needs to stop. I'm going to just like say, I don't like this ad at some point because it's making me nuts. I keep telling it. But there is these ads for these shoes. <laughs> no. I love cute shoes. And by cute, no, I used to always buy like cute little flats and things and ballet this and all that and those little dressy shoes. And then I moved to New York and I realized you have to walk. Well, not now, but you have to walk everywhere. But you still want to look cute. Now, what first started me on these, and I just got my first pair, was that a lot of a lot of things are doing collabs you know with um hey socrates you've been here for five months meow meow um thank you so much for being a yo super club member hey darren so they're doing collabs so it might be with the peanut and then this one was with the peanuts which is snoopy okay so um anyway I love Snoopy and I, that's what got me to look at them. But then when I got to the site, now these are called Karuma, Kar, Kariuma, Kariuma. It's spelled C-A-R-I-U-M-A. I'm, I'm not going to stop my life. Okay. That's what they're called. Okay. Kariuma. And, um, they look like just little bitty canvas sneaks and stuff and I got a pair, okay? No, I did get black, okay? But, but when I saw the logo, it was it. It was over. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> Tell me that those aren't the cutest damn sneaks ever. <gasps> Treat, you've been a member for six months, honey. Come on. They say Atari. They're Atari collabs. Come on, aren't those cute? Wait, you want to see what's you want to see what's in the inside of it? Game on. <laughs> I thought they were the cutest damn things ever. Hey there in the game. How you doing, Gary? So good to see you. By the way, the bear, he sits here. Bob the bear sits here in our apartment. My son uses it all the time. He's 28 years old and he uses it as a back pillow. If they only different have Atari on them. I, I think they're cute as F. But they also had a lot of other collabs that they do. They did ones with Snoopy, which had Woodstock and all that stuff on them. But I really, when I saw these in black, I was like, dead. Dead. Had to get it. I think the 2600s, right? <laughs> I thought they were so cool. I was dying. I was like, oh, and the, and the top thing says Atari on them too, because that's their collab. Josh, how much were these? I think they were like $80, um, something like that. Maybe not even that much, but um, I thought they were super cute. Josh approved, and he was like, yes, those are, those, are, those are cute. I know if they had Snoopy on them, he wouldn't think they were that cute, but um, I got those. Okay, so now we got to order some lunch. What are we feeling today, guys? What are we feeling? Stuart, you've been here for six months. Holy hell. You guys are fabulous. I swear to God. What do we order? What do we order? I will watch the replay. I'm sorry, I can't say. No worries. When we were at Costco, we got these bombs. By the way, guys, these are really good. Chinese. Dang, too expensive for me, Chinese. Oh, okay. So these are good. These are, they're keto. And I looked at the ingredients. Hey, Dan. Indian inspired tacos. Really? Halal? Oh, that sounds good. Look at them. I know the camera on my computer here is not the best. These are good. I think it just shows up automatically. Love gang. Chicken wings in a salad. Mmm. Mmm. 
Below the cash sign. Okay, yeah. Is that what he does? Oh. Highland Bull Terrier. Greek Euro. Ooh, that does sound good. Oh, I probably am going to get a cut rip. Alexa, turn the music down. Okay, it's down. <laughs> I had to... I had to yell at Alexa. These are good. Pretty good. Um, okay. Okay. Let's figure it out. Let's figure this out. Hmm. I gotta go to Grubhub. Grubhub. Now, Grubhub is just like I'm going to shrink that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I don't want you there. Grubhub. Hey, where'd it go? Mm. Well, how am I... Do I got to shrink this? Okay. Oh, I guess it doesn't show up when I'm not on it. I'm like, where did my chat go? I just have to look here. Three months and 29 days. Holy hell, you're almost at the five, four month mark. That's amazing, Kaz. Thank you. Okay. We're going to order some food. Okay. You guys know, you know, like one of my favorite things. No, you can counter sue, tell that it was Alexa. Oh, okay. Grubhub is free with Amazon. Hi, Fox Tech. It's so funny. I know, YouTube hates us listening to music. Okay. You guys know I love chicken suvaki with the Greek, with the Greek salad. I do love it. I do love it. Now, I was ordering Ollie's, which is Chinese, but they changed their double sauteed pork. They don't use pork belly anymore, which is wrong. Wrong as hell. They changed it, which is annoying. I'm doing good, Fox Tech. You see my channel? Yes. No judges, it was that bitch Alexis or Alexa, I don't know. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Mm, I love how I see everything on here when I usually order and it's all like Metro Diner, Metro Diner, Metro Diner. We aren't ordering Chipotle because you know what Chipotle does to us. What does Chipotle do to everybody? <laughs> hey, Nabul, how are you? I'm looking at my phone, guys, because I'm currently... Actually, I put it up here so that way I don't look like I'm looking down. I'm currently looking on Grubhub. So let's see. Um, no, I don't want vegetarian. Because who the hell is doing vegetarian? Exactly, Wolfgang. That's exactly what... Chip what, what do they put in it? What does the Chipotle now put in their food that it makes you run to the bathroom 20 seconds after you eat it? I know, Chinese or Metro. I know. <sighs> I think I'm going to get Metro just because there's this place that's called Makana Hawaiian, but I have a feeling it's not going to be very good because everything's going to have rice. Stop it, Penny, Penny. Why are you talking crazy? Maylox. They put Maylox in it? Probably. Probably. Penny, you stop trying to tell me that you've never had Chipotle. Because I think, I think, I think you're telling, telling tall tales. You made sweet potatoes and broccoli for lunch? Oh. They're adding, they must be. I think they are because I've never had a problem with it before and then now suddenly it's an issue. Okay, no fries. I know everybody's crying because I said that. 
extra extra salad and extra tzatziki dressing and tzatziki add to the bag proceed to checkout Do, 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 do. I love how they add a service fee. Why is there a service fee? That's like insanely annoying. Okay. Oh. What did I miss? Unsubscribes class, he's still waiting for a video. Oh my God. Okay, we did that. Okay, back to here, back to here, guys. Chipotle is a pepper. It is, but they don't have peppers in their thing. Thank you guys, I didn't know what it was. Didn't know what it was, okay. We had an In-N-Out burger here for a year, but they closed. Some apps have the microphone on in the background others do not i'm not sure if we can turn it off oh okay maybe that's what it is i don't know it's just really interesting how like suddenly like all you do is you hear like you start seeing the ads come up and that's like what in the hell i don't get it you know it's kind of bizarre why does lipton iced tea taste so good why so anyway those are my cute shoes i got and I'm gonna start buying some because you know, it's gotta fit my foot. That was the one big concern I was worried about is that it wouldn't fit my foot because my left foot's a little bit swollen still. But anyway, so Joe had a great birthday. He was able to enjoy it. He got his Nathan, I had to tell him, I had to put the kibosh on, um, hi Colleen, hi Jamie. I had to put the kibosh on um, hot dogs. You want a hoodie? Oh, you know what? My stuff is supposed to be coming today. I don't think it's delivered yet, but it should be soon. So what I bought was I didn't get a hoodie. I did get a t-shirt, a bag, a couple of hats, and I think something else. I had a conversation with my neighbor about shoes she was wearing. I came into the house, got the ad for the shoes and ordered them. That's crazy. Four C iced tea, but it's a lot of sugar. Oh yeah, well I'm making my own. Hi, Mr. Mr. Five Baseball. Peace to you. I, I, I broke down and bought the ginormous boxes of Lipton iced tea, the bags from Costco because um, because uh, I, I, I love Lipton iced, I love Lipton tea. It's got a good taste. Kaz, I wish I could afford them. Please apologize, I couldn't get in. Oh, that's no worries. I didn't get a picture. Treaton, I literally have no picture. So I just put the tea bag in here. Filled it up. And that's what I did. It's super not, hey, you know what? It doesn't have to be fancy photos for it to be good. That's the truth. Welcome in. Oh, Colleen, don't even worry. You never have to apologize. Whenever you pop in is when you pop in. It's not a big deal. We are all here just to hang out for a little bit today. And that's what we're doing. I'm trying to make sure I got my thing all straightened up here. Okay. All right. So, hi, Viking 180. My mom always made iced tea with Lipton tea bags. It's it is classic. And I don't know... Why other teas don't taste like that? And it's literally just tea. Is it because they have a certain kind of orange pico tea? What is it? I don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up, literally. Oh, Metro Diner, I got a text. Metro Diner is preparing your order. I will be back. I didn't get your envelopes yet. I think it's coming by tour. I think it is, you know what, Kaz, I swear to God, when I send stuff out and it goes overseas, sometimes it gets there in a couple of weeks and sometimes I don't know what happens to it. I know I've sent stuff to Tejas and I have no idea if it ever got delivered. <laughs> I honestly don't. I had something else come back to me. 
I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't yours, but I don't know. Hey, Randy, how are you doing? What happened to trivia? I couldn't get the thing started, so we're going to do trivia on my phone. Okay, guys? So now I got to find it. I couldn't get my, um, my, what do you call it, thing to work. What I should do is just get a damn trivia game and show the cards. Some postman was arrested for stealing. What are Costco bucks? What are what are Costco bucks? Okay. Okay. I got questions on my phone. We're gonna do trivia today about Seinfeld. Hey, Randy. Guess what? Cass is at two hundred subs. Treat and Saunders has a collection of teas. My grandfather wanted a cup of tea and patiently waited while his son explained. Oh my God. No, he did not. Do some restaurants have a keto menu? Um, some do say things like it's keto, but honestly, all restaurants have a keto menu. It's just, you have to order it that way. So if I was to order something in a Mexican restaurant, I would say no rice, no beans. That's it. You know, no corn chips, things like that. Or if I order nachos, I wouldn't order the nachos. I would ask them to put it on bed of lettuce. You end up turning into that person. That's what it is. Yeah. You don't know Seinfeld? Oh, what's a Seinfeld? Seinfeld? Stop it. What's keto? I forgot. Keto's low carb. You don't eat the, you don't eat bread. You don't eat grains. You don't eat potatoes. You don't eat rice. Nothing starchy and stuff. Keto is not just all meat. No, it's like veg meat. It's basically you eat food. Nothing that's going to really come in a box. Although I am eating this, but this is like a little treat. And this doesn't have anything that is um, wheat or anything like that. So we're doing Seinfeld today. I got it on here. I had a whole bunch of questions I made up on a thing, but I can't like look at both. So I'll just look at my phone. Now, if you guys all go and you find the stupid key to the Seinfeld thing, I'm going to be like, okay, you guys all know the answers, okay? But we all know one of our favorite things is Seinfeld. Joe is basically... <laughs> who is who is who is Joe? First question. Who? What character is Joe in Seinfeld? Type your answer slowly. Give her a chance. <laughs> Hi, Mason. Joe is George. Yes, he is George. For real, my Joe is George. And he never wanted to be George, but he's damn George. People have told him he's like George all the time. A guy stopped him in the street and said, you're like the little guy. I mean, people say it all the time to him. And it's because he's so animated and he gets so upset and stuff. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm live, FYI. Okay. <laughs> came in. Is Angeline? Sometimes, sometimes I am. I I do do that a little bit. Hey, British Gray, how are you guys all? Okay. So first question. Seinfeld is often described as the show about what? What is Seinfeld about? Yeah, let us market you. No soup for you. Joe likes his spicy foods. He hates spicy foods. <laughs> Yay, Wicked Penny, Randy, Treat, and Cla everybody see you guys all watch it. I know you do. Yes, the Seinfeld is the show about nothing. Nothing. It is basically my life. My life is about whatever. It's nothing. I love it. Wicked Penny's too late. But Penny's going to be like, D -d 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 -d, forget about work. She's talking Seinfeld now. It's one of my, I swear to God. We actually got the whole thing of Seinfeld on DVD, you know, when you get DVDs. Because I love it. I freaking love it. A political debate. No, it's not. It's about nothing. Okay. What's the first and last thing the group of friends discuss during the pilot and the finale episode of Seinfeld? What is the first thing and the last thing they discuss? It is. It's brilliant. It's all of us. It's every day. Hi, Brian Davis. How are you? Good to see you. Nope. 
Not coffee, not where to eat. Nope. Wolfgang, you don't know. You know nothing about sign of it. You never watched it. Oh, girl, you could get into it. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It's literally a show that you could, you don't have to follow. Like, you know how some, some series you have to follow every single one to find out what's going on? You don't have to follow any. It's just yada, yada, yada. Nope, nope, nope. You guys ready for the answer? The first thing they discuss and the last thing they discuss is about buttons. Do you remember George's shirt? That button, it's in the wrong place. It's a little high. <laughs> it was the button on his shirt that it wasn't in the right spot. It was buttons, yes. That's exactly it. That's pretty much kind of gives you an idea of what the show is about. Like absolutely stupid, insane things that happen. And I swear to God to you guys, living in New York, I realized that everything that happened on Seinfeld literally is the base. It's from the basis of something that's real. It because I it's happened to me. It's happened to me. Stuff has happened to me, and you're just like, that's real. It's real. Okay, next question. Now, this could be twofold. Same as nothing, exactly. Yeah, your answer is Congress, same as nothing, right. Okay, this could be twofold, guys. Now, what is the name of the coffee shop where Jerry and his friends spend a lot of their time? It is based on a real coffee shop. The, the real location is here, just north of me, off of Broadway. Like at, I wanna say like 118, 120, something like that. What was the name of the coffee shop they always hung out at? The diner. Yes. Look at Ambrose. Monks. Monks. Now, do you guys know the real name of the diner that's here? Do you guys know the real name of it? Restaurant. I was, a, as a time, I was stuck at Sam Malone's. Oh, you were in Cheers. <laughs> It's called, yeah, Tom's Restaurant is what it's actually called. Because the restaurant is right, and that's what they'd always show on the series. You'd never see monks. You'd always see restaurant. Because the other side says Tom's Restaurant. But that is the corner. They actually do have things. I know, Metro. We should say Metro. Metro is way better than Tom's. Do not order. Do, don't go to Tom's. One, one. What, does the, what do they not have that every diner should have? They don't have coleslaw. Yeah, exactly. Treating no coleslaw. What diner doesn't have coleslaw? That's a sin. That's that's blasphemy. Okay. Which main cast member does not appear on the pilot of Seinfeld? Westway Inner when they came up with the show idea. Westway, Westway, Westway Diners when they came up with the show idea. Oh, really? Nope, Kramer was in it. It was Elaine. Oh my God, Treaton, you are popping. You got it. You got it. It was Elaine. And she was like huge. It was Elaine. Monk was a good show. I have never seen Monk. I never saw it. Okay. Now, next question. The maestro. Remember the maestro? <sighs> Who died from licking envelopes? Who died from licking envelopes? Does anybody know? Who died from licking envelopes? <laughs> I love that Penny knows her name. Susan. She did. Who was Susan? Does anybody know who was Susan? George's girlfriend, Susan, yes. Her name was Susan. And why was she looking envelopes? Does anybody remember? They were for their wedding, her wedding invitations. I'm putting my crutches here so that I can grab them. Oh, Penny? We twin in because we have seen, I probably have seen him like 20 times. 
And it was for their wedding invitations, yes. She's looking at all the envelopes and he got the cheap envelopes because he didn't want to spend a lot of money. So she died because she was poisoned by licking the envelopes. And this is why I use self stick. I use peel and stick. <laughs> they used to go to the Westway Diner every night after their comedy show and wrote Seinfeld there. Oh my God, that's perfect. Really? Where's Westway Diner? Now I want to know. Okay. Photos. I would say you could go to Tom's restaurant. Don't eat there. Don't even have to go inside. Looks nothing like it inside. Only the outside. Just walk by it. And then go to a different diner. Go to Metro. You could go to Broadway Diner. That's even that's really low rent and low scale. But don't go to don't go to Tom's. Please block Wiki Penny. She's always beating me with the answers. Brandy, type faster. <laughs> oh, it's by the Port Authority. Really, in Midtown. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Does anybody know how many episodes there are of Seinfeld? How many episodes of Seinfeld are there? Like, I can't believe that. But I guess I could. They have a sign over the table Jerry and Larry sat at. They do? Oh, now I'm going to put that on my list. Classy 7,316. No, that's a lot. That would be, I would never be able to watch that much. Ooh, Ambrose, you're really, really close. You're super close, super close. Penny, 180. Yes, ding a ding a ding Penny's like, win it in here. Treat and got it too. According, let's see here. Okay, I don't know that one. Who does Jerry describe as his nemesis and pure evil? Hi, hello. You're so excited you're in Utah and you're meeting a podcaster today. Ooh, that's fun. I love meeting people. Oh, Stuart's at 614th 9th Avenue. Okay, I'm going to actually write that down. Hang on a minute. I had to make a note. Make a note. 614 9th Avenue. West Way Diner. Okay. Made the note. Had to make the note. Newman. Yes, Brian. Everybody thinks Google. Yes, everybody does think Google. Newman, Newman. Banya. You know what? Banya was a, he was a pain in the ass. What's going on? I got 201 subs now. Oh, that's fabulous. Ting, 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 ting. Yes. Oh, <coughs> I do remember this. What's the name of Jerry's for Jerry's favorite shirt? What is the name of Jerry's favorite shirt? No, it's not puffy. Remember, he didn't want the puffy sleeves. Hey there, Mr. Bone Man. How are you? No, it's not Puffy. Nope. What was the name of his shirt? Yeah, I remember I actually saw it. No, it's not the pirate. That's the pirate shirt. I remember him calling it this. I'm waiting for my food. <gasps> close there, Jamie. You're so close. I just use it to support the community. Ask Yo Ange about me. Yep. Kaz actually does go into a lot of other live streams. She's just there to say hi to everybody and stuff. She's one of those channels that has subs, but she doesn't really have content. She just uses it for support of other people. It was called Golden Boy. Yes, Gregory, I just saw it. It just, I don't know why it took forever. It was called Golden Boy. Do I remember what it looked like? No, but he called, I remember him calling it Golden Boy. Okay, I'm finding another one. Oh, I didn't know this, but now I want to walk by it. Now I have to walk by this because it's going to make me crazy. What was Jerry's address? Does anybody know what was Jerry's address?
think about it. What was his address? Everybody's Googling. It was 5A. It was apartment 5A. But do we know where it was? What street it was on? It was something. Okay. Apparently, it was on West 81st Street. So that is about... Like 19 blocks from here? So on one of our travels... We, 129 West 81st Street, yes. We are gonna have to take a walk by Jerry Seinfeld's. Not the real Jerry Seinfeld. That's not where he really lives. Trust me, he lives in a nice place. Okay. All right, here's the next one. Crutch, I know, the, the, the crutch was getting me. What book's late return earns Jerry a stern talking to and hefty late fees? What library book did Jerry not return to the library? Does anybody remember? And it earned him hefty late fees. Walk on by. <laughs> yeah, Stuart, it was apartment 5A. I don't remember. I do remember the name of the book. Playboy. No. It was not Playboy. Oh, there you go, treating Tropic of Cancer. Gregory, Tropic of Cap Capricorn. Y'all, silly. It was Tropic of Cancer. Okay, wait a second. I'm looking for another one that I like. Okay, what does George want to name his future son? Like he never had one. He killed his fiance. But what did he want to name his future son? That was the opposite one. You guys all remember that? I love it. Classy Ambrose Treaton. Hey, crazy chick, how you doing? JP George. No, we wanted to name it Seven. He thought it was a great name, Seven. All right, Kaz, we'll see you later. He wanted to name him Seven. <laughs> and it could be girl or a boy. Like, your name is Seven. Could you imagine? But people do that now. They name them all crazy stuff. You couldn't, I don't think you could actually have it as the number though. You'd probably have to spell it. Because could you imagine just putting your, like, could you put your number, could it, could a number actually, like the actual number be your name? I mean, it would go in any language, wouldn't it? Just about, like it could be in French and, and all those different, you know what I mean? Right? Seven in soda. It is illegal? Really? It could be number one. My name is one. Hi, Radium. How are you doing? So good to see you guys all here today. That's so funny. I think that's hilarious. Seven. Okay. Okay. Who invented Festivus? No curses and others, really. But it could be a Prince did something weird with his name. Remember, he was just the symbol the artist formerly known as Prince. Kanye West changed his name. What did he change his name to again? He's always doing something weird. Yes, George's father. He invented Festivus. The pole. Get out the aluminum pole for the feats of strength. <laughs> the feats of strength. I think that's what we should have for Christmas this year. No, we're not going to do a tree. We're going to do a pole. How about that? Frank Kistigenza. Frank! Festivus for the rest of us. Hi there, Mrs. Viking 180. How are you? You knew someone who named their dog Kitten? For real? They named their dog Kitten? That's crazy. Hang on a minute. Oh, I'm just waiting to see if I'm getting my, my food yet. I want to make sure I don't miss it. 
I forgot to thank you all. And thank you for Tammy C for subbing. Oh, not a problem. A poll. Yes. Because, you know, tinsel is distracting. Okay. What's the name of George's alias? Do you guys all know? Now, was this George? This must have been George's alias. Do you guys know George's alias? What was the name? It was like in millions and so many of their episodes. Oh my God. Classy, you do know Seinfeld. Art Vandalay. Am I on tomorrow? Um, tomorrow, I will probably be on. It'll probably be a little bit later. We usually do an evening stream on Thursdays. It was Art Vandalay. It's, yeah. Um, but tomorrow I have um, physical therapy at 5. So I will probably be going um, live afterwards. I don't know what we're doing, but I'll have to figure it out. But we will be going live then. But yes. Okay, during surgery, <coughs> excuse me, during surgery, what candy is accidentally dropped into Elaine's boyfriend's open abdomen? Remember her boyfriend had surgery? <gasps> the Junior Mint. It's wonderfully refreshing. <laughs> Mint, the junior mint. They went to the surgery theater and he had a box of junior mints. They knocked his hand and one of the mints went flying into his abdomen. It's crazy. Fun times, exactly. I got a junior mint in me. That's insane. Okay, one more. Okay, does anybody, okay, please stay. Ooh, hang on a minute. Hey Josh, can you grab that for me when it comes in? Thanks. That was my food. That was my food, guys. Gotta get the food. I didn't know he was gonna be home. Anyway. Oh, you knew someone who called their dog shithead? That's crazy. Okay, this can be the last question. I think it's funny. What was Kramer's license plate? Who's I'm in, I'm your house? Who's I'm your house? Who's in my house? My husband, my son, my son's here. Um, what was Kramer's license plate? Ass man. It was ass man. Oh, he's waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, guys. You guys got it right. You guys all know it. You have to brush up on time. That means you have to watch it. I know it's available online. You can totally see it. In fact, I might have to watch Seinfeld later on this afternoon. When I'm doing some work and stuff. But it's honestly one of the funniest shows. And I think living in New York really makes me realize how true everything that was on it actually does happen to some extent. Not here yet? Okay. He's taking forever to get up the stairs or the elevator. Who knows? Cosmo. Cosmo Craner. Yeah. So if you guys haven't watched Seinfeld and you want to get a little taste of New York, you can watch, watch it because it's true. He bought the car from a proctologist. Yeah, no, I think what happened was he got the car and then they screwed up the license plates or something. Oh, what are you having, Tammy? What are you having today? I ordered chicken suvlaki and a Greek salad. Kramer's mom's name. Ooh, what was it? I should know this one. What was her name? 
Is he not coming up? What's going on? Is he walking up the stairs? Somebody came in my house. It's my, yeah. It's family. Was it Louise? Bags. It was Bags? Now I got Babs. I think it was Babs. Wait, I gotta look it up now. Oh, thank you. It's here. Well, that's not what I wanted. I don't know. It was Babs. Yeah, it was Babs. You were right. You were right. Wolfgang, okay, let's take this out. Oh, it gave me PETA. I don't need PETA. I gotta show it to you guys. We're gonna, we gotta move stuff. Push y'all back. Crutch goes over there. Okay. We got napkins. We need that. Oh. The funny thing is, is I, I asked for extra dressing, but they didn't give me extra dressing. Josh gets the pita. Yeah. <laughs> Bags. No, it's Babs. Okay. So we got, this is the stuff. I'll show you. So there's the chicken, Greek salad. We put on a little dressing. The funny thing is, is if we go to the restaurant, they always know what I'm ordering. If I order chicken suvaki, they actually sit there and say, I love typos. They crack me up so bad. I know, for real. Yeah, that is the new TV behind me right now. Suzuki. Like, their Suzuki is really good. Mmm. Mmm. It's honestly so good. Mm-mm. No coleslaw. I got chicken suvaki instead. Which is basically like kebab chicken, like chicken chunks. Greek chicken. With a Greek salad. It's so good. The chicken is hot. Chicken is hot. Dressing. I know the dressing is really good. It is good. So I hope you guys had a little bit of fun. I don't know why I couldn't get my um, slideshow to work so we could do it properly and stuff. But I thought it was fun. It was fun to hang out. But you guys know, like I said, every time, if you're new here, you enjoy these kind of silly streams. This is just one of our low key ones. During the week, we do like a little trivia chat over lunch. Normally I'd be walking, but I'll get back to it in a couple of weeks. Um, the therapist is pretty sure I'll be off my crutches in a few weeks. We'll see. But anyway, lots of fun. I'm going to eat. You guys go have lunch. Enjoy. And stuff. And I got to work on this slideshow to figure out why it wasn't working. But this chicken is so good. I'm going to I'm gonna go face down. Face down. It's like strap the feed back on and I'm eating. All right. But you guys, have a good day. Peace.